So in this video, I wanna answer one of the most common questions within calisthenics. Should I do chin-ups or should I do pull-ups? Let's get straight into the video. So before we proceed any further, I just wanna give a quick clarification of the difference between pull-ups and chin-ups because in many videos, they're kind of used interchangeably. Someone will be talking about a pull-up, yet they're doing a chin-up, and some people are talking about chin-ups and they're doing a the pull-up. So I'm gonna quickly tell you for anyone that doesn't know, what they are. So what it is dictated by is your hand position. So we have two hand positions. This is our pronated, where basically our knuckles are on top, palms are facing down. And if we have them in the pull-up position, knuckles are facing us, palms are facing away. We grab the bar with that grip, the overhand grip, and we pull ourselves up. When it comes to the chin-up, we supinate the grip. Now our palms are facing up, knuckles are facing down, Palms facing us, knuckles are facing away. We grab the bar with the underhand grip and we pull up. This is the difference between the chin up and the pull up. So now we know that, let's get into which one is gonna be better for you. So let's quickly talk about the muscles that are used between both of these exercises. So they are both calisthenics back exercises. They're both vertical pulling exercises. So they're pretty much using the same muscles. However, the proportions of which ones are used more might slightly differ between the two. And mainly it boils down to either you're focused more on the back or more focused on the bicep. So when it comes to the chin up, because we're in a supinated grip, we're now in a position where we can get the bicep more involved. And this is why people find chin ups easier than pull ups because we're able to incorporate more muscles into the movement. We're able to activate and pull and get the biceps involved. And this is why it's easier to do them. So if you're looking to get bigger, stronger biceps, the chin up is going to be a clear winner. When we're looking at the pull up, because we're in this position, we tend to find it harder because we can't incorporate the biceps as well. So a lot of time the load or the strength goes into the forearm. So you're probably get bigger forearms doing the pull-up but again to be able to do the movement you'll find it's going to be a little bit more back dominant so if you're looking at trying to focus on pulling more with your back and get more work done by your back the pull-up is going to probably lead to maybe more growth in the long run so next thing we want to be looking at is which one's going to have the most carryover to exercises or movements that we want to do in the future. For instance, if you want to be able to learn to do the muscle up, the pull up is going to be a clear winner. Same with the front lever, same with the one arm pull up. What we train, what we test is what we improve on. So if you need to be able to do the muscle up or that's where you're going, you need to train yourself in this position, not just be able to have that position because we're not doing muscle ups with a supinated grip, but you need to strengthen the muscles that are going to be holding this position to allow you to be able to do the muscle, to be able to allow you to pull yourself up over to be able to hold that position for the front lever. We need to have that specificity of what we're training to where we want to go. When it comes to the chin up, the only thing you're gonna really be using it for is obviously if you wanna do the one arm chin up, you need to have that specificity of training yourself within that position, training the muscles, the tendons, the joints, everything to be able to hold those positions. That's where you're gonna to have to be focused on. The one thing that I then look forward to is also then chest to bar pull ups. For me, I personally find chest to bar chin ups easier than chest to bar pull ups. The end range position is far easier to hold and actually getting yourself into that position is easier. I think the reason for it is when we supinate the grip, we're getting into that external rotation. It's easier to get into thoracic extension and you kind of get the arms out the way. So when I'm in this position, it's far easier to pull up, but also hold this position with the chin up, where if I get into the pull up, I'm trying to get into thoracic extension, but it's not as easy because I'm more internally rotated. And then when I pull myself up, I get there, but it's far harder to hold that end range position. So if you focus on chest to bar, I would say chin ups is gonna be the better one to go for. So an interesting thing that we can use to actually help make the decision for us or incorporate both is the use of equipment. If for instance, you have a set of gymnastic rings or anything that has the ability to rotate, it could be these angle 90s that I have here, this can kind of make the decision for you and allow you to actually kind of do a hybrid between the pull-up and the chin-up. You can, if you wanted to, you could start off in a pull-up position and then pull and then rotate up and have that ability to have that rotation. And actually that supination will get more bicep activation. This also allows us to kind of take the stress of our connective tissue and our joints, because when we use fixed bars, sometimes we can put ourselves in a position, especially in the load, to put unnecessary stress on our joints, especially with stuff like the chin up. Some people report when they're in this position because there's a higher requirement of flexibility or mobility to get in this position. Some people with the chin up will report of issues with their wrists and their elbows. Where if we have the ability to hang like this, we're not in a fixed position. So it actually can be a little bit easier on the joints. And what you'll find is without me even thinking, when I pull myself up, my forearms are naturally moving how they want. So we can actually have more 
natural movement, take unnecessary stress of our joints, reduce the risk of injury because we want to reduce the risk of injury because if we can, the longer we can train, the more progress we can make in the long run. So incorporating something that allows that rotation can be a really nice thing to add in. The other thing you could possibly add in, the ability to do neutral grip pull-ups. Okay, so if you have a crossbar in your gym or at home, this can allow you to do neutral grips. And this is actually one of my favorite versions of pull-ups because it tends to be a lot easier on the shoulders. Get in that position, that thoracic extension, be able to do chest to bars, be able to hold that end position. It's really, really comfortable and it's a nice variation to be able to do. And I can pull myself up and I can hold that middle position. I can get into chest to bar. Obviously I can change the width that I want, but I can pull up chest to bar and I can hold the same position. So I can kind of get the benefits of both the pull up and the chin up in one, in one variation. So that's a really nice thing to add in as well. And I highly recommend adding it in. So it all boils down to which one is going to be the best. Well, if you want the specificity of certain exercises or movements down the future, maybe the pull up for the muscle up front lever might be the better option. If you focus on more on bicep growth, maybe the one arm chin up, maybe if you're interested in chest to bar and you want to be able to get in and build up the strength towards chest to bar, the chin up is easier than the chest to bar pull ups. So it could be a good place to build up that strength if you want to go down to that route that's one option too neutral grip covers you nicely in the middle and the rings can be a good combination between the two which one should you do my advice to a combination of all of them i tend to do pull-ups and chin-ups both together because i enjoy both of those exercises it's nice to be able to mix up that flexibility it's good for the body to change it slightly it's also good for the mind but having a combination of possibly all four of them i think is going to give you the best results reduce the risk of injury make training more fun we need to make training more fun we don't want to make it mundane or boring or repetitive you find a way to make training fun because it makes it easier to make this consistent for the long term but have fun experiment with these different variations comment down below which one do you prefer between the pull-up and the chin-up do you do any of these other variations which one do you like best subscribe if you like the video hit the like button because it does really help the video and i'll see you guys in the next one